All right. Um, I just want to say the the sign that's like kind of crooked and it's done with like the one pixel offset. I don't like that. I, games need to stop doing that. By crooked signs, the apocalypse. I, I know it's supposed to show that it's not um, it's not perfectly Did that mushroom straight. Just squeak? And I know you only got so many pixels to work with, but I don't know. The squeak is from the the, the mushrooms. Yes, I know. I was just saying, did that mushroom just squeak? Yes. You've never wow. squeaked a mushroom before? I've never... I've, I can confirm I've never squeaked a mushroom before. Well, if you ever go to Australia, they have squeaky mushrooms. Uh, just make sure you, you grab the mushrooms that squeaks and not the ones that'll kill you. Or at least that'll make your hand fall off. Well, okay, okay, yeah, it, won't, I mean, it won't be your whole hand. It'll like mostly be you know, like the flesh on your hand and you know, any fleshy bits, you know. So. I mean, if, if I have to, I'll just... I'll bag them both up, and I'll just bring them to you and throw them at your face. And well, I, but like, but you're not whichever one that doesn't on do anything, that's the one I'll squeak. But like, you're not gonna be able to get that on a plane. That's like indigenous plant life, and they don't want like species, you know, moving from the continent because you don't want to end up like, uh, like Australia, where they imported that toad, and then like now, now there's just toads in Australia that are a nuisance. You definitely don't okay. want to do that. Fine, I won't bring it. You've convinced me. You're a little bit lost in the dark. <laughs> um, I, I, the, there's not really a big gimmick with this. Um, oh yeah, it's the it's the moly bug, but it's uh, a bunch of them. Um, <laughs> green means clean. I forget if you have to do it four times. I don't think so. Eat your greens. Oh no, wait, that's the wrong one. <laughs> wait. Hold on. <laughs> hug? How do you how do you hug? Like I'm I'm pretty sure it's floating. But it needs a hug. Yeah, but I don't I, don't, I wish I wouldn't do that. You don't hug. You, you unhug it. She hates your respect for boundaries. <laughs> Interesting. Yay! Yeah, so um, after this point, everything starts giving you more gold, so you can start affording things. Um, things will really start picking up. We'll be able to buy as, as much food as you want uh, later, but um, I would say now is when you can actually start buying health items, and it's probably for the best, because there's a, a boss coming up that a lot of people struggle with for some reason. I'd actually say it's easier than the bone skeleton, you know what I'm saying? But If you need healing items, buy them. Well. It's, a, it's actually kind of a walk back, so um, no, don't uh, don't go too crazy. Or commit. Whatever. It's your game, man. Or um, whoever wants to play this. I mean, if you, you, if you really struggle, you can download Cheat Engine and just edit the values. Ah. Uh, uh. No. Technically, as long as the game doesn't obfuscate itself in memory, you can, uh, you can do whatever you want. So, you know, if that's your game, if you're, you know, if you're a scrub, it's fine. Um, I guess, <laughs> but uh, my recommendation is, uh, you know, games are meant to be played. You should at least try to play them. Uh, I'm not going to say that I haven't. Game Shark is for games that are bullshit. That's true. Yeah, um, I don't know. There, there's a, there's a moral here about, um, uh, stealing someone's soul. Well, it's, it's more about like placing the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, it's more about placing the entire burden of uh, you know your ancestors' mistakes on I don't know a person that has, is so far removed from it that uh, it, it it shouldn't even matter at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Oh yeah, that's not there. Can you hear that? Hear with the walking? Well, no, there's a ambulance outside. No. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Um, hope he's <laughs> not dead. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, these these flowers are about um, destroying the humans, I believe. Just murder everybody. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, okay, yeah, this is the thing that gets quoted a lot, the angel. So, um, I guess depending on how you play it, it, it means the same thing. Either you literally help everybody leave the surface, or you help everybody leave the surface by killing them, you know. Theory. Technically, they're going themselves? Well, no. Uh, well, that's only if you believe in the concept of, uh, of the afterlife, which I, you know, I, I you know, might exist. Because um, if you unmake something, they don't technically leave, they just disappear. So, uh, I guess you could say they're not in the underground, right? But, um, you know... I mean, I guess that's how that works in this game. But, you know, if you agree with that, you also agree with Seymour from Final Fantasy X. I will destroy Spira! I will save it with my blue antlers! <laughs> Okay, and I don't know about yeah, you, but... Yeah, that, that, that theory was not right. Seymour's <laughs> motivation was, was kind of stupid, and... Uh, I, I actually really like uh, 10 and 10 too, but, uh, you know, um, not Titus's, uh thing. It's like, if I destroy Spear with my giant cock cannon, Vegna cock, uh, no one will suffer anymore. And I mean, like, technically you're right, but... <laughs> oh no, he fell off! Um, yeah, so he fell uh, off and tripped. So you you uh, you can leave him behind. I don't know what happens. Um, I've never done it. So um, uh, but yeah, I've, I've never uh, I've never left the child alone to fall to his death. <laughs> Just everybody goes murder happy on you. Well, it. it <sighs> Really, I guess it's just really easy to forgive for uh, for the main character, yeah. <laughs> I guess that means we don't have to fight the boss. That was the boss fight. You saved was, the child. Yeah, it's the moral choice. See, this is the moral choice system. Yes. I kind of like how there's a cave within a cave. There's a cave within a cave. Within another cave. Uh, I guess this is the other Secret thing. Dungeon. In the background, you can see like smokestacks or whatever. But you know, when you where where does the the exhaust go? It, like, wouldn't it just fill up the cave and kill everybody? It becomes ice. Arg. Um. Well, she is a fish, so. <sighs> Oh, yeah, there's that character. We'll get there. That's next. But, uh... <laughs> Fucking random stranger. <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna kill you. Because your continued existence is a crime. Yeah, well, <laughs> um, we'll, well is this a commentary on genocide? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Anime genocide. Yeah, or, you know, it's 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 not a problem for them to kill all the humans, but you know, you want to kill all the monsters. Oh well, you know. How dare you hug them instead? You're, you're an awful person. You're not a monster. I don't know what you are. Oh yeah, but before you fight, uh, you might want to save just in case. Maybe, or you can risk it. You know, your game, your rules. Uh, all right. Well. Okay, when you're green, you can't escape. hero that never gives up. You gotta stay and face the danger! I forget who said that. I think it was, uh, from Jiggle Billy. I miss you, Sippy Cup Han. <sighs> he needs to make another pro devourer in commentating. I don't... I, and whoever... If anybody has number three, I'm looking for number three for my personal collection. If you could get me pro Han in commentating with devourer, whatever the title is, I need it. It's been scrubbed from the internet, and I need it. I have one, two, and four. I don't have the third one. No one seems to have the third one, but I want it, so... Um, it's it's disappeared into the ether. Well, I don't know. The less I remember about Han, the less depressed I get, so... Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a shame about what they did to Heroes of New Earth. <sighs> yeah, so here's the, the gimmick is that you're in place, and you have to play DDR with your arrows, sort of like in reverse. Um... I probably don't need to tell you this, but uh, it gets harder on the on the genocide route. This is probably the first real boss in the genocide route that is legitimately challenging. Um, one of two. 
So, yeah. Uh, the secret to this <laughs> fight, if, you, if, if the secret to this fight, if you didn't know, is once you're not green, um, you you just run away. Uh, that's that's uh, that's how you do it. Um, this is this is referenced later. Um, I guess all throughout Undertale media. So, um, you know, if you couldn't figure it out, well, uh, at least you got, you know, good at the video game, I hope. Right? And that, if you got good at the video game, good job! Right. <sighs> oh man, how sneaky. I got hit anyway, but still. Um, <laughs> there's, uh, there's really not much to it after that. Um, you get, it's, I think it's easier to escape if you keep using the option where you don't take damage, so the, the basically the better you are, the faster this goes. Um, pro speedrunning tip for you, go go fast, and you'll you'll beat the game fast. Like Sonic fast, or just, wait? Well, I don't yes. know, you can't spin dash in this game, so. And, and, then, and then you just leave. Uh, the game hints you pretty hard that you can, that you can leave. Oh, I, why did I stop there? Because you got caught. Um, and I believe it gets easier and easier to, um, to leave after, um... I, I think it's a threshold based on where you are on the overworld map. Oh yeah, the yellow ones reverse, so, um... Just pay attention to where the arrow is and do the opposite of that. However you get it done, just get it done. Oh, I, I didn't- I didn't mess up one time! Ah oh, man, that I'm was- I'm so uh, proud of you! Yeah, actually, I think that's the only time I do that. I was, uh... I don't, I don't know if, uh, if anyone has seen any of my other stuff, but if you'll notice the way I play games is health is basically a resource because you really only need one. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not as skillful to, you know, beat the Mega Man X bosses without taking damage, but man, it's a matter of endurance. That's, that's how the human race survive. Not strength, <laughs> not speed, not power, but intelligence and endurance. And I'm sorry, um, it's, oh, it's also the way I play Yu-Gi-Oh, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, that is true, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's you been a while only, since you only need one life point to win. Look, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now, if there was a card, if there was a magic card, uh, sorry, a spell card in Yu-Gi-Oh, where you gave up all of your life points except for one, but you drew your entire deck, it would be run at Legally. three every single time because you only need one life point, right? So, like, there, there, that's all, there you go. That's all you need, <laughs> right? Uh, uh, and, you know, I, I laugh and say they'll, they'll never do something like that. Yeah, I, I, I messed up on this one, as you can see. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little. Um, I believe there's armor that increases your invincibility frames. If you're struggling with that part, just wear that armor and you'll be able to make a lot more mistakes. Uh, but yeah, no. <laughs> if they uh, <laughs> you gotta go phone call. <laughs> let's meet up at her house. <laughs> a little busy. She's trying to to stab me, and spear me on a on a pike, and uh, and give me to her boss. So yeah, there you go. You can start running away after you get past uh, a lot of stuff. Oh hey dude, what's up? Uh, yeah, he. I I thought that uh, talking to him might do something, but no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're in, you're in the the lava place. Uh, with so. a water cooler. This is one of those things where it's like, we're in a volcano, how come we're not being cooked alive? Uh, if you get close to lava, lava is really hot, you'll die. Don't get close to lava. Uh, like, you can't, you can't actually go in a volcano. If you don't burn up, you will uh, sweat all of your stuff away, and then, you, like, your skin will start uh, bleeding. So, you can give her the cup of water. Um, I don't... I, I don't know what happens if you don't do it. Um, I've never not done it. So, uh, there you go. It's, uh, it's, uh, you're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. You know, comment it down there if you didn't give her the cup. Because <laughs> we would like to know. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, actually, I don't know if the wiki says what it does. Um, I, I did, I actually have done some deep lore diving, um, despite, and that's why I'm, I'm not super thrilled about it. The clam? I don't remember that being there. That clam. I think that's new. I don't remember that clam being there. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the wiki is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, there's uh, very little conjecture. I do like that it anticipates you getting another cup, and it just removes the cup from your hand. So. <laughs> the cup evaporated, too. <laughs> yeah. 